Jamaica in the Facebook group asked if somebody could make a video with multiple rappers. Um, I don't want to give up anybody's confidential information or anything, but let me just show you a quick example. Uh, this is Patty over at realestatefountainhills.com. So we have a dynamic URL that's the global one. That's the default one for everything. And then you can put them in here by categories. We, we're actually looking at another client, and I'll show you here in a minute uh, in, in Oregon where they have it on the results page. But Patty has uh, wrappers here on her details page. So she uses this page as a wrapper. She has a different one on the uh, home valuation page. So basically, the rest of the pages are going to show the global one. So if we go look at these pages, this is the seller pay wrapper. And you can see she's got some resources here for sellers. Um, this is the wrapper she's using on the details pages because she, she works in these uh, four areas. So you, people can hover over these and get to more information about these areas. And then it also has uh, some information here and whatever she puts on the side. And then the, the everything else, the default page, is, is, is just this page. So um, we were just looking at this a minute ago. Oops, wrong one. So for example, when I look at one of her details pages, you can see it loads up the information for her details. Um, she's got, you know, whatever template design she's using here. And then, um, let's see if we can adjust this a little bit. So then she has the map right here uh, on the details page. She's got uh, all the information that, that she's got feeding down the side of the page there with some other properties, similar listings and stuff. So uh, another client is uh, over here at OregonCentralCoast.com. And uh, they have their regular layout looks something like this. And then on the results page, they have their uh, results page has a wrapper. Let me see if I can lower this just a little bit. Their results page has a wrapper that has some more information here at the top where you can get the results uh, and, you know, I don't know, whatever their situation is here. If we say we just want to see the the ones that have three or more bedrooms, then you can click that and, and kind of re the way to refine the re results, you know, dial them in a little bit more. So this is just the, the little filter thing they wanted at the top of their uh, results page. So that looks one way and all the other pages on their IDX feed look this the same. So basically all you do is going back here to IDX broker we think the best practice is just to put something on your global pages and then if you say well we want all of our results pages to have something else you just click here on results if assuming it's a dynamic URL you can put something here um, we actually saw a client we we're looking through a few clients that they have a uh, something on the property updates they they actually have um, some custom code that we did there for the uh, that's static on the property updates. So that means when they send out the emails to their clients, it has a you know, branded look for them and stuff like that. So, uh, so that's also an option there. But you can do them on the categories or you can actually go in here uh, on each page, uh, design and do it. And, and the other thing is you can actually come in here to the saved links and kind of like what Patty did, if you say, okay, uh, you know, these are Fountain Hills golf homes. She could actually make a nice wrapper with maybe a link to all the golf courses or information about all the golf courses or, you know, the pool homes talk about four or five companies that do pool maintenance or something. You could do those types of things. Like I mentioned earlier, I think you can put some of that in the custom subheader, but you can also use a wrapper. So hope that helps you out and shows you how to set up those wrappers.